It's so pretty. Today I did a cattle drive. Oh, hi. Katie Tupin. What's up? How are you? A lot from New York. How are you? Oh, man. I, I love New York. I'm going to be there actually like in a week and a half. You're going to be in New York City? Yeah. Well, so I'm playing in Woodstock and I'm rehearsing I... with a band in Brooklyn. So no. it's like this crazy thing where I have to fly into Brooklyn, fly out for a show in Nashville, fly back to Brooklyn, and then go play the show in Woodstock. So I won't really be in New York, but kind What's, of. I was in Woodstock. I saw Tadashi Trucks band there last weekend. It was awesome. Really? Do you go up to Woodstock a lot? Yeah, I'm like an hour north of that. Oh, you're an hour north? Yeah, I'm up in uh, Saratoga with the horses. Nice, nice. I saw you play... With Houndmouth at the Egg once in Albany. That place is insane. Isn't that cool? And I remember it being so cold. When it we was there. freezing. I looked like hell, by the way. I feel I did not know you were going to accept my. Cheeto. I thought, like, Sorry. Cheetos like into your. Like I thought I was able to chat you. I didn't you... think you were going to put me on the screen. Well, sorry. That's just how it works. I'm glad that you're on the screen. What's your name? My name's Kevin. Hi, Kevin. It was nice to meet you. <laughs> I did not think that I'd be, like, talking to you tonight. It's great. Like, I, <laughs> well, I, didn't, I didn't I think I'd be talking to you tonight. And here we are. I like, I like it. All right. So <laughs> let, me, let me think of some good Katie Tupin questions because I okay. wasn't ready. Okay. You weren't prepared. You can ask me anything. Anything right. random. Favorite venue you've ever played? Oh, that's so hard. Um, I'm coming out with the hard stuff. I'm not yeah. – I mean, like, I loved all the New York venues, you know, the Bowery. What are you playing to the, the, crowd, right? playing to the crowd by saying New York? Or are you, are you? Well, no, I mean, I did. Well, it's, just, it's heavy on my mind right in this moment in New York. But, <laughs> um, you know, like, I remember, like, the first time we played the Bowery. And we were so Bowery. nervous because, you know, we were, like, all from southern Indiana and, like, had never been to New York. And so we were just very intimidated by New York anyways. And so we played and we played terribly and everyone hated us. Right. And it was just like such a bummer. And so uh, we were all feeling real bad about ourselves for a long time and real bad about New York for like a good six months. And then we had another show at the Bowery and we were like, we had to like crush it. And we did. And it was like, like, yeah. Redemption, yeah. you know, so like the Bowery kind of holds a special place. I like that. Uh, I like um, that. Festival stages like Newport Folk Festival was always amazing. I, I went this year and it was awesome. Really? You never been? No, I've been. I actually saw you guys there in 2013. Did you play there? Yeah, I think I think so. 13 and 15, perhaps. I, I, but I've, I've been there. Like 13. There. That's like my favorite thing ever. Newport is awesome. Yeah, there's something so un undescribable about Newport Folk Festival, right? Yeah. Awesome. I mean, it's such like a community. People are like, you never know. Like, I saw uh, Hozier brought out Mavis Staples this summer. That was awesome. I just Amazing. see Mavis. Great. Yeah, she's doing all kinds of stuff. Lots. Of, she's like been touring around and it's kind of awesome. Yeah, um, just... yeah. Okay. Any other? All right. Next question. All right. Next question. Uh, most starstruck you've ever been by another musician? Okay. Starstruck. Um. Hmm. Well, okay. So I have like a weird thing where kind of the reason I became a musician, I went to Bonnaroo when I was uh, like 17. Oh, my dog is pooping right now. Right. Oh, what's up, Cheeto? Hey, Cheeto. <laughs> um, so I went to Bonnaroo when I was like 16 or 17. And like, I didn't play a note of music at this time, right? I could kind of sing, but never like had lessons. And I went to Bonnaroo and I was like, oh, I like, like, just walked around. And I was like, well, I could do that. I could do that. And, like, I would just go to all these shows. And I'd be like, well, I could probably do that. And then I saw Jack White play. And I was like, that's not a real person. Like, that's not a person. That's just, he's just so big. And I was, he was with the White Stripes at the time. And it was just like, man, it was just so incredible to watch these two people just, like, floor this audience that was enormous. And so Jack White was kind of my one that I had to meet because because like, he was like the one that wasn't real to me. And then I did, I met him and he's a real person too. And so I needed that. So he was probably the most starstruck I've ever been. I probably really awkward around, around him. 
Uh, that's awesome. I saw him at the Racking Tours. Yeah. How is how is that? The Racking Tours. Are awesome. They play the Ryman this weekend. They're like they're awesome. That's my favorite. Like I like the White Stripes, but like that's my favorite Jack White. Really? Yeah. Love that's the all right. Well, I need to I need to see the Rack on Tours because I mean the White Stripes were kind of like. Man, I don't. Even, I don't want to like see him again because <laughs> because they were so good. Uh, all right, next question. All right, next question. This is fun. You're good at this. Uh, I, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be. I, I wasn't ready for this at all. So I'm trying. I didn't even put like. I just got out of the shower. I didn't put hair gel in my hair because I thought like, why well, put hair gel in my hair? I'm getting out of the shower at nine o'clock at night. Didn't think <laughs> I was live with Katie Tupin and 29 people. So. <laughs> Well, that's uh, why at this moment. So, so you never know. Like, there'll be hundreds of people seeing you. Go Good thing you put that hair gel on. I know. I should put hair gel on. Uh, <laughs> I hope you come to the show in Woodstock. It's uh, a charity yeah, show. Yeah. Hold on. When is, charity the, show. when is your show in Woodstock? Yeah, it's for uh, the the Radio Woodstock. They're doing a breast can a show for breast cancer uh, on a boat. And so you have to, you know, buy the tickets for the boat thing. And I'm playing. No way. When is that? It is like next week. I think it's like on the, I think it's on the 19th. Nice. I might do that. If it's a, uh, let me check the date. No, I might, you might see me there. I'm going to be like, yo, I was the guy that we talked to. I'll remember. I'll remember you vividly. And I promise you this, I will wear hair gel. You have to. And I'll even shave. Well, we might have to live stream together, but we'll be together. Oh, I like oh that. Oh, my God. Dude, Mind blown. All right. <laughs> get, let me get some good – let me get one more, like, good question for you. All right, one more questions. Uh, all right. Favorite Saturday Night Live cast member ever? Go. Oh, I don't know. I didn't watch a whole lot of Saturday Night Live, so that's oh, not a very good uh, question for America. me. America. Everybody watches Saturday Night Live. <laughs> I don't know. That's a bad question for you. Next question. Oh, God. All right. Let's stick to music then. Um, favorite female voice besides your own? Well, my, my own isn't my favorite. <laughs> that would be incredibly narcissistic. Um, <laughs> but um, shit, that's hard. Okay. I love um, Billie Holiday. Ooh, good answer. Patsy Cline. Love it. Um, Dolly Parton's voice is amazing. Listen to um, Dolly. Love Dolly. Love Dolly. Um, shoot. I mean, Janis Joplin, you can't, like, argue with that one. Janis no. Joplin. No, no, no. Um, wow. Those are probably, like, probably my faves. All right. I love it. Yeah. I wish Bonnie, no Bonnie Raitt in there. Bonnie Raitt's not in there. No. I, I, I love like, Bonnie Raitt, don't get me wrong, but, like, she wouldn't Bonnie's be my top voice. She's an amazing um, slide guitar player. I'll give you that. I'll give yeah. you that. All right, favorite. I would put her in, in, in favorite female guitar player category. Okay, how about uh, give me your favorite. <laughs> let's do favorite. Uh, let's do favorite lead guitarist. Male. Let's give me a, uh, male. a male lead guitar. <sighs> okay, okay. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Um, well, I have, to say my, I, I have to say my dad because my dad's a guitar player and he's very good. So, and I learned I like how to that. play. Like, so I have to say my dad, right? Um, okay, let me think about other ones. I mean, like I was always a sucker for Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, mm. I mean, that's, that's probably it, right? Like, it's like most soulful. I don't know, but then you got like really amazing things like George Harrison lead or like the little solos are so good and like there's all kinds of great guitar players though. That's the thing. There's a lot of great guitar players. Um, you know who I just played a show with Marcus King. And if I saw that. Someone, Where was it? If you want to see someone solo for like two hours? Go see Marcus King because he is unbelievable. Where was that show? It was in Chattanooga. Clapton, awesome. everybody's commenting their favorite guitar players. Clapton, of course. Well, my dad's influence is Clapton, so I gotta say Clapton, right? <laughs> but yeah, um, then I was in Chattanooga, Tennessee. So, what was your? Was that your favorite show you've done on this like tour? Um, 
yeah, I played with the, I opened for the Black Pumas too. So I guess my opening slots have been my favorite so far. Um, you know, because, uh, nobody knows me again. <laughs> so it was so funny. I was looking through old photos. I was like, oh yeah, I used to play to a lot of people. Um, <laughs> but so it's like, it's different this go around, you know, it's like kind of re, um, reintroducing myself to people and people kind of don't know that I exist anymore. So that's awesome. The, the restart. Yeah, totally. Total restart. Re we're rebooting. And I feel like you're, I feel like this is a quick reboot for you because I feel like you're moving pretty quick. I feel like we're, we're getting some traction early. We're getting some like traction. We're getting, we're, we're making some waves. We got, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, we just got to keep, keep telling our friends and that's how it works. You know, with like Houndmouth, I remember when we toured for years and years before, you know, a lot of people knew about us. So it just, it takes a lot of word of mouth and a lot of, a lot of that, you know, but, um, but I'm doing other stuff too. You know, I, like, I think the first go around, I kind of put all my eggs in that basket. And then, so when that sort of fell apart, it was like, Oh, like you should spread your eggs around to other baskets and do other things too. And not just like put all your identity in one thing. So I, this, you know, I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing some stuff with, I'm acting, I'm doing some stuff with film. You know what? Come I've more. got, I've got, I made a short film that, you know, we're working on and, and it's kind of, kind of secret, not really, not really talking too much about it, but it's a thing. And I've got, um, you know, like all these little projects that I'm doing, I'm starting a podcast probably later, uh, early next year. I'm doing all kinds of stuff. So the music I'm doing, I'm writing with lots of other people and I don't know. I'm just keeping things moving around and keeping things interesting for myself. You're, you're spreading those eggs. Spreading those eggs. You got to spread those While eggs. While keeping the integrity of my solo music. I love it. Yeah. I love it. What's your favorite um, song on the new album? Oh, well. That's hard. That's you know, real. Because, because I like them all. Because I made them all. Um, but I think Someone to You is a really great song. Great song. And uh, I'm really proud of that one. Um, and I like real love a lot. Um, you know, I'm just a sucker for ballads in general, obviously. <laughs> so I'd say those are my, my faves. And, uh, what's your favorite? I say real love, real, I'm right up there with you. Real love. That's, okay. that's, that's been, um, that's been a huge hit for me. And I love, um, I was a huge Howlmouth fan, and you were like the reason I loved Howlmouth. Oh, I love and, that. Thank you. Oh, uh, you were like the se I, I don't think I've listened to a second of them since you left because that was like you were it. <laughs> that was like it. Um, Krampus was like Krampus. That, Krampus is my old school hit. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's not even like a real song. It's like kind of a song. <laughs> it, it's yeah, but that's like that's what I like about certain songs is it doesn't matter how simple they are it's still like a hit like it yeah. still makes you feel good it still connects with you like i love that oh, i love that. you feel something oh yeah that's why i like that song is it's like there's nothing to it it's like one line but it still jacks me up it's a great yeah. song you know who had a song kind of like that too it was this band called the zootons did you know that band oh. the zootons wrote um Valerie, the song we, the, you know, Amy Winehouse sang. Yeah, yeah, great song. They wrote that song. And they, they had this other song, and I don't know the name of it. I think it was called Railroad. And it was like, I've saved every penny, my girl. And it was super cool. And it just kind of repeated that for a while. And I feel like we possibly stole the idea from them, but I'm not totally sure. Hey, that feels <laughs> from a little bit of inspiration from everybody. inspiration exactly so but yeah you should check that song out i think it's called railroad and and and, and also check out their version of valerie because it was cool what's their song what did you say their name was the zootons it's z-u-t-o-n-s the zootons yeah i don't know they're probably not still a band i mean that was a while ago but i don't know who knows um, they're probably doing pretty good with valerie you know hey it's a hit, that, it that's a hit. A, my favorite amy song that's a great Amy song, right? Oh, it's a great Amy song. Feel good. <laughs> what is, um, what was your, like, your, who were you into the most growing up? Like, who have you seen live the most? How would that, that's a great question. Who have you what seen you, live the most? Uh, oh, well, like, probably bands that I've toured with, honestly. Yeah. Well, <laughs> like, yeah. like, like, I've seen, like, probably 20 Willie Watson shows, and I've probably seen, like, you know, a lot, that's probably the most, Willie, or, <laughs> uh, 
just because he's a friend and I like go see his shows all the time. Yeah. But um, growing up, I wasn't super music-y. Like I really? sort of liked what I, you know, what everybody else liked. And, and music was a thing that happened to me much later. Like I started I getting into, you know, music festivals and kind of getting into indie bands and stuff when I was um, 16 or 17. But um, I didn't pick up a guitar until I was almost 18 and learn anything about music until I was almost 18. So growing up, it was kind of not really a thing. Um, I remember like the first kind of indie artist that I was really into was uh, Ben Queller. I love Ben Queller. And I was like, and it, I th it was probably a pivotal, pivotal sort of thing for me because I was like, this is so different. And like the, his, you know, his lyrics were so different than all the stuff that I was hearing on the radio. And so I think it really kind of shifted me. And, and being hey. Queller liked one of my posts recently and commented on the re on the a video of real love and i was like oh my god I oh, well. yeah that's uh that's some full circle stuff that's some full circle stuff it's like the jack white thing it was like oh, yeah okay, okay. I like I like <laughs> all right i got a, i got a, i got a deep question i got like a <clears throat> a serious question okay and, and i'm pumped to ask you this okay so okay. i'm gonna I, it while you ask me i is that a, oh hit the jewel hit the jewel do it up i like that I uh, I went to a Weezer concert recently and I was hitting a a, a weed pen. Somebody had a jewel next to me and I'm not used to jewels. And I was like, oh, let me hit your jewel, and I almost threw up. Like I wasn't. Used to oh, I yeah. Wasn't right. This nicotine. It's nicotine in these. Yeah. I well, I I, I smoked cigarettes. I started smoking cigarettes when I was like 18, and it man, it's the worst thing. But I don't smoke them anymore. I do the jewel thing, and I think it's better. I think it's healthy. Just, that, so, speaking of better lifestyle. This is my uh -huh. question. So okay. I am uh, almost 11 years sober. Oh, good. Congratulations. And, and how is, thank you. And I, and how is like touring sober? And how's that, how's that whole like different spin on it now? Yeah, it was well, very different. Um, it's got to be. That's, I'm very, I'm very interested. Because I'm very, and honestly, I'm very proud of you. Thank very, you. Like thank that's, you. that's like a gigantic yeah. thing. Especially so like. Two and a half years. Two and a half years. That's all. Awesome. There's two and, and a um, It's going really – so it's it's different. Um, I So I played a lot of shows sober with Houndmouth because after a couple of years, I kind of got really burnt out on it anyway. So I was doing a lot of shows so, sober. So luckily, like the stage fright thing wasn't a thing for me, which it is for a lot of people that um, are used to, you know, that – you know, try to be sober and then they can't pl perform and there's that whole element. So I didn't have to really deal with that because I was already over that hurdle because I was doing it anyways and it's drinking later. Um, and, but, um, but you know, like after the show, I'm kind of done, you know, and like, yeah. I'm like ready to like go to bed <laughs> and like, it's just, it's just, um, you know, when the party's over, you know? Yeah. And so. Was it hard for you to like, get off stage and wind down without like boozing or not? No. I mean, I, 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 I know that sounds crazy, but I just don't really have a problem. It hasn't been that hard for me. That's um, awesome. Yeah. It's just been good. I mean, I get a little um, tired of being around drunk people, <laughs> Yeah, that, <that's laughs> you know, like, like that's just how it is. Yeah, but you uh, gotta have out. like, I always got to have, like, I don't go to any place without like, an exit strategy without like my own car. Like I don't go yeah. to any, I don't go any place I can't leave when I need to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You yeah, just, you like, just and, cause you know when you want to go and like nothing, nothing's gonna, gonna, gonna happen after midnight, you know? So yeah. <laughs> my father always says nothing good happens after midnight. <laughs> exactly. Me and your dad. <laughs> yeah, you guys are on it. You're on it. You're on it. Um, but yeah, no, I, I really enjoy it. And, um, touring so hard anyways, like physically. Um, so it, I feel like I'm able to just maintain better. I mean, I can't actually think of one downside to any of it. I mean, I just, I love, I love not drinking. <laughs> that's, um, uh, that's awesome. I'm super pumped for you. Cause that's, yeah. like, that, that's in the hardest, like, I think the hardest part of not drinking is the first like year. First yeah, and, and I wasn't doing a lot of touring in the first year. So I think I sort of, you know what I mean? I got yeah, through like, the hardest stuff of um, like 
Yeah. But that's, that was a good question. Well, that's awesome that you're sober. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was, uh, yeah, I've been sober. I'm 34 and I've been sober since I was 24. Wow. And, I wish yeah. I had, I w cause there was like, I'd go through bouts of being sober, you know, yeah. um, I would like stop drinking for a month or two. You know, I did a lot of that. Yeah, and... yeah, because, like I was sober. I'm sober almost 11 years, and it's like my fifth go around. Like I get sober, oh. for, I get sober for like six months, and then be like, screw it. See, I just never thought of it as sober. It was always like I'm going to take a break. I was one of those yeah. I'm going to take a break people. Yeah. Um, which you know, I think if you're if you're on on the I'm going to take a break train, like there's probably a problem there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that's a good. People that don't have a problem <laughs> don't think I'm going to take a break. Like, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that's, um, that I didn't know you were two years. Ago. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, it's a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun on tour. Um, I actually feel, you know what? I actually feel more confident, you know, cause you don't need it to feel confident. So you just are always confident. That's you awesome. Know? That's Great. so It's good stuff. Well, my mom is waiting on me. We just finished dinner. We're going to wind down. It's her birthday. So we're out here oh, in Montana. Oh, birthday? Yeah, it's my mom's birthday. So we're, we're celebrating her birthday. Uh, yeah, that's why we came out here to this, this magical place. Where are you? I'm in Montana. Love it. It's well, awesome. It was, it was the highlight of my Sunday night or Monday night. Sorry, I forgot it was a Labor Day weekend. Um, I wish I shaved for you. I That's wish great. I, you look great. It's got, you got that five o'clock shadow. It's great. I, I wish I wasn't ready for it at all. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm going. And I've never gone Instagram live ever before. This is yeah, my well, first, my first, time, first time for everything. <laughs> I'm yeah. glad that I was your first. <laughs> oh, I'm glad, that, I'm glad that we did it together. I mean, if you're going to, if you're going to do Instagram live for the first time with anybody, might as well do it with with Katie Tupin. Oh, all right, before you all right, go. Have a good night. All right, say night to you now. Okay. All right. All right, bye. Bye, good to see you. Good to see you.